Welcome to Show Me the Apps, our annual showcase of some of the most innovative applications within the Broadsoft ecosystem. Our lineup of applications today leverage the power of voice, video, and real-time communications and reflect the innovation, leadership, and out-of-box thinking that continues to create value in the market. Please welcome our mashup Appy Award winner, Broadsoft Extended's first developer and tinkerer-in-chief, Joseph Farrar, a.k.a. Joe Developer. Welcome, Joe. Good morning. I am Joe Developer, and today I'd like to show you a cool application, at least I think so. You know, the first time I actually saw this concept demonstrated, it was a TV commercial from a well-known company that puts out a lot of phones, uh, and they're pretty cool phones. And I liked the application because it made sense and it made uh, it easier to go ahead and look at some things. It was demonstrating how you could visually uh, look at messages that you might get, voice messages. So I decided I was going to develop an application that would demonstrate the same thing on Broadsoft and that it could be moved onto different devices. So let's go and take a look at it. I'm gonna go and demonstrate it first on the Polycom VVX. And what you'll see when the screen comes up is a portal. And inside of this portal, you have access to your voice messages. As you can see, you can go ahead and have an inbox. And in here, there's some things that you can do. Number one, you have transcriptions. Those things are very helpful. Because if you don't want to you know, listen to your voice message at the time, you can easily read that voice message on the screen. You can also play it back. You have the ability to go ahead and call the user back if you want to go ahead and call them back. You can also block the user. Now, I want to do something different. I have a volunteer in the back, and that volunteer is going to go ahead and call this phone number on my phone and leave a voice message. And we'll go ahead and do a little bit more on the demonstration so that that voice message can go inside the system, get downloaded, get sent for transcription, come back, and hopefully by the end you'll go ahead and see what I mean. So, that's the VVX, and inside of here you have full ability to go ahead and move around and go to settings. Inside of settings, you would go ahead and access, uh, setting up your extension to actually go into, um, oh, log me out. You'd have the ability to go ahead and access your um, settings for connecting it up to Broadsoft, and you also have the ability to set up your notification settings. So for instance, if you want to go ahead and receive a text message when you got a voicemail, or you wanted it sent to your email, you could go ahead and do that. Now I'd like to go ahead and move over to a different version of the application running inside of a web browser. So let's go ahead and move over to that one. Inside of the web browser, you'll see that there's something different in here. There's a search box. One of the benefits of sending a voicemail out to be transcribed is you have the ability to search on that voice message. So a friend of mine called me a while back and he wanted to go to a baseball game. So let's search for baseball. So there's the message. If I want to, I can go ahead and click play. Hey Joseph, this Whoa. is Mike. Hey, I was thinking about coming over later on and maybe we could book those tickets for the baseball game on Saturday. If you think that's a good idea, just give me a call back. My phone number is 379-3574. My number again is 379-3574. And I look forward to going to the baseball game with you. All right, man. Have a good day. I'll talk to you later. Bye. So there is a voice message that I can listen to as well as read and even search on it. One of the other benefits inside of here is if you don't want to get a message from someone, someone keeps on calling you. For instance, this guy who called me and said, are we done yet? I might want to block him. I might not want to get any more calls from him. So I can just go ahead and click on block, and what will happen is it'll go inside of Broadsoft and put that number in the selective rejection service, which blocks the person from calling me, and it just tells them this number is no longer in service. So they don't know I'm blocking them. They just know, wow, his phone must not be working. I'm going to have to tell him the next time I see him. So it's helpful. I'm, really, I'm sure you've experienced that. So, Right now, you have the ability to go ahead and access it in a web browser. You can access it on your VVX, but I built the platform to be a software as a service, meaning it doesn't just have to be in a web browser or on a VVX phone. It can be integrated into any internet accessible device. It can also be accessed from the desktop. 
Recently, I built a toolbar for a company called Simple Signal. And it would take very little work to go ahead and take what I built on the web and for the VVX and integrate it into a, a desktop Adobe Air toolbar. It's simply just putting it in and accessing those data files. So now that we've demonstrated the different places you can actually access these voice messages, I'm hoping that the message will be inside and transcribed. You'll notice that when a message comes in, it's in the transcribing state. And when it's been transcribed, it'll show up. The voice message is pretty quick. Transcription can sometimes take a little while. So let's go ahead and try this out and see what happens. Oops. Oh, so let's go ahead and just sign back in just to make sure. OK, so there's the voice message that was left by the volunteer. And you can see the transcription there. We can click play. This is the best year of connections. Can't wait till next year. So there you have it. That is the voicemail portal that I've built. It'll be over in the pod. So if you want to check it out, just come by and check it out. I'm Joe Developer. We'll see you. Thank you, Joe.